see the aggression in his body as oh, yeah. he plays, you know, that's the cool part. He says that old school, like, he's like, keep abusing sticks. Yeah, he's like, Faye, you know, he does that show you can, you can feel it from across the room. And here we go, already getting some good damage on Elkibana Loco. Yeah, and Elkibana Loco was last week's winner, so, yeah. I mean, first the winner of last week, David A has a mountain to climb, but great start. Mm -hmm. And yes, we did say Elkibana Loco, going back to the original handle. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! All right, and great controlling here for wow. David A. And the read. Oh my God. Oh, See, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, right now you can oh, just no. back up and play the safe game. But David A walks up in Shurukens. You're crazy, David. Good luck. Oh, please, just zone big out a little bit more. Oh. There we go. And he's on the verge of this first round. Oh! Oh, he steps right out of the range of the car throw. Oh but no, that's gonna be big damage. One more mix up from El Kamal Loco. What is he gonna do? Off the wall. Oh! Shuriken will Let's take go. it! I am, that was a great reaction from David A, not taking any bullshit there. Hey, and if, if you're the if you're El Cubano Logo, you gotta expect with that aggress aggressive offense, that's what he's gonna be doing, right? Okay. There but you know go. what? I respect that he did the first round, now he knows. Mm -hmm. Now he knows. And maybe there'll be a little more respect from El Cubano Logo, as well as there'll be respect from David Oh, A. just Newt jumps in, nothing to throw. Sick! Oh my god! And David A is on terror. Off the combo, off the combo. He goes up 1 0 no. versus El Camaro Loco, who won last week. David A! Oh my. Let's wow. go, David A! I mean, he's and he's, look at Marcos. He's like, what? What? What's going on? And Nasser trying to give him some tips here. Oh, that's what was going on. I, what? He was, I, his black shirt, I even know it's not there. David A is so calm right now. He's like, yo, I got this. Let's go. Let's go. He has experience. He's not unfamiliar with fighting games. He's been playing, you know, for a very long time. And I. I don't want to make excuses for El Cubano Loco, but you know, he just stepped in. He kind of got here late. I don't know if he didn't get to warm up, but you know what? Look at the change already in place out. El Cubano Loco, he's played so much more safe. Exactly. And I think this is exactly the right choice. You have to force David A to make more risky options instead of trying to play into the aggressive options of David. Exactly. I mean, he did. David made a lot of risky options there, but you know, just not baited out by El Cubano Loco, you know? So don't play the matchup. Normally, Vega has to get close to Ryu. Mm -hmm. So don't play the matchup. Yeah, you like gotta play the player here. Exactly. It's worked out so well for the start so far. Yes, it's commanding lead now in this round. That's going to be very hard for David to come back. Okay, but he does finally have two meters here. That is... Uh, can't be the lifesaver, maybe. But no. Oh, great conversion. That's going to be it. Yeah, okay. Great momentum. The game tempo change. That's the, that's the term I should be Yeah, very, tempo very good tempo, uh, tempo change. Completely changing the pace of this... Uh, this match. And it's just how you know, fast El Cabal Loco wants to play it. And as I say that, a couple really great uh, aggressive buttons there. Another oh. great conversion off of an empty jump. And I think El Cabal Loco is showing off really why he won last week and why he's doing so well. This ability to adapt is what really separates high level players from people who just aren't there yet. Oh, but David A, there you go, gets the throw and the oh, corner pressure. Oh, he jumps himself in the corner. I don't like that choice. He should have kept that corner pressure, especially with Ryu and two bars. Oh, and you see him just jumping back. That may be a sign of being a little bit too antsy on defense. I think he's a little lost. He was just like, he got, he got nervous. He was like, ah, I need to make something happen. Maybe if I just jump back, it'll work. And they sadly didn't. Yeah, and a great, very great change of pace. Change. Tempo change, like you said, from El Cubano Loco, taking that second one. And the sweep actually has been paying off really well for uh, oh, one walk wow. as a trip card. And David A throwing some really poorly placed fireballs there, getting punished huge by El Cubano Loco. And oh my god, working out perfect here, there's the stun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. awful stuff, for filling the meter, taking good damage. But okay, no perfect at the very least. The moral victory. Oh, oh and he chose to spend the meter, I mean... You know, he's doing well. You hope that meter doesn't come back to haunt him, but... Especially because now he doesn't have those two bars. And actually, three bars for you is also very important for the big screen also conversion. Oh, very nice conversion from El Cubano Loco. And now I think he's just, uh, he's bullying uh, David A a little bit. Yeah, he's completely shut down his offense. Oh, he gets the crumple, though. Not off the punish afterwards, but you know what? It's, it's something... Oh, oh wait. he dropped! That was a big... Opportunity there for David A, but no punch. And we can see uh, David be a oh, little. That's gonna be it. Yep. Yeah. Not gonna be uh, it for the round, but huge damage. He's a little inexperienced in the matchup. You know, like the Barcelona's, he's not sure how you That's a free punch for Ryu. Oh, and he had the Oh my god, David! Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Here's the pressure. No, again with that jump. The jump short. Look at the corner. 
such a bad option to take. Oh, and that's it. Oh, Two card throws in a row. El Cubano logo coming back from that first, uh, first set losing. You know, really, no other way to say. He played it very poorly that first set.